Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Scorbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center, and we're here in Massachusetts. And um, I got a request to do a reading on Venezuela and what the United States plans on doing with Venezuela. The actual question was, will, um, will Trump go to war with Venezuela? So uh, I will answer, I'll, I'll, put, I'll pose that as the question. Um, yeah, let's see what comes up with that first, and then we'll see uh, where we go from there, see if there's a, a journey to be had with this question. All right, I'm just shuffling up. I am using the Fountain Tarot today. Okay, Fountain Tarot. You'll recognize it when you see it. Okay. All right, just about ready. Cutting the cards. Okay, so we're going to do a uh, Celtic cross. Okay, so the immediate environment to this question is, will, will, will Trump go to war with Venezuela? Um, we have the Ten of Swords. So actually, right off the bat, I'd say no. I'd say no, just with this, this thing. Because this is about an ending. Okay. Let's continue and see what else comes up for this. Let's see the crossing card. Okay. The crossing card is happiness. Interesting. The most challenging card and then the, the happiest card. At the root, we have uh, the Hermit card. So what this says to me is that there is a there is a a, a, a desire to actually um, change things there. I think that desire is also with the, it's not just an American thing. Of course, it's a people thing. It's a world thing. Uh, people are, you know, obviously what's going on there is not working, right? Um, and there's a lot of places in the world where that happens, but not all the places in the world have oil. And so they become more of a focus uh, of other countries because they have assets that other countries could utilize. So we always have to sort of keep that in mind. But here at the, at the root of this, we have the Hermit card. So the Hermit card tends to be... Um, this is another, it's a nine. It's another like ending card. So we had two tens and a nine uh, numerologically. But this says to me that um, this either says to me, it could say two things to me. And I'm, I haven't decided which one it means. It could either mean that uh, it's another no, because it's like we're hermiting, no, no, no. Uh, but it could also mean um, that we're hiding, somehow we're hiding something. So let's see what comes up in the past. We had the Nine of Cups. Okay, so um, this is getting your wishes fulfilled. You know what this reading feels like? It doesn't feel like it's answering the question of, will Trump go to war with Venezuela? This almost feels like a reading for Venezuela, like this is what Venezuela is experiencing. They want an end to the suffering, and, and how do they find happiness to get there? Okay, in the sky we have temperance. And so this, is, this says to me that... Um, there is support from higher, see, you can see this, the, um, the vibration here. Uh, I mean, the uh, energy coming down from heaven here. So it feels to me like there is angelic um, support, support from higher vibrational beings for, uh, for healing for Venezuela. Okay. Let's see what's in the immediate future. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. This is about 
fighting, uh, but having a higher, uh, having higher ground, um, the struggle, but there is a sense that what is higher will prevail. What is higher will prevail. Uh, from the outside, we have the Ace of Wands, and so this is new beginnings. So there is hope for new beginnings. Um, numerologically, this is also a nine card, so that's very interesting too. Endings and new beginnings. The domestic situation, we have justice, we have balance. Perhaps a, a legal, legal, um, legal things. I know they're they're um, their uh, oh, Supreme Court is in Colombia, or it's not even in the even in the in, even in Venezuela. They do like Supreme Court via Skype. Uh, hopes and fears, death, more death. So they fear more, more suffering, more death. And then some of them hope for death. Uh, not that they want to die, but that the, the death of the old regime, perhaps. Let's see the outcome. Okay, the tower card. So upheaval and reversal. So, um, so this, and let's see what's underneath. Star, the hope card. So this is what this card, this reading says to me. The question from the viewer was, uh, will Trump go to war with uh, Venezuela? And my first, the first card came up, the Ten of Swords, no. And then as I progressed through the reading, there is a sense that uh, this isn't a reading about that, but it's actually a reading for Venezuela. And it does look like they are at the crossroads and that they will actually, uh, things will shift for them in Venezuela. But however, um, there is, there is, you know, of course, any time that you have um, an upheaval or a, a, this feels like the the present, the present president, I guess he's the president, uh, will be overturned, creating a tower moment for, um, for the Venezuela, for Venezuela and the people of Venezuela. But ultimately, it's going to bring balance. And so they've been suffering for so long, and now there's going to be a little bit more suffering. But the, the ultimate outcome is a positive one, I believe, as, as we have hope. Hope is, is reborn um, in, uh, in the people. So um, I don't think we would go to outright war anyway, because that's not really what America does. America likes to pull the strings from the um, from the shadows, from the shadows, and so um, and I'm not really sure that America, as it stands with Donald Trump as president, um, whether that might be a focus or not. I think that uh, I personally feel like America has to deal with its own crap right now, and Venezuela would just be one other thing that that they best keep their nose out of. That's what it feels like to me. So, uh, so as far as Trump going to war with Venezuela, no. As far as Venezuela, it looks like there's going to be big big shifts and big changes in Venezuela, and I'm I'm happy to see that. And uh, the light is coming. The light is coming back. Okay. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, let me do a reading on Maduro and Guado. <laughs> Guado. <laughs> Somebody told me how to pronounce it, and I said I might not remember. I think I said it right. Guado. Guado. So let's do a reading on Maduro first. So Maduro is the guy in charge now. He took over from Cesar Chavez and has made a big mess of things. Um, one of the problems I know with Venezuela is that they're a single, um, like a single resource economy. Oil was their whole economy. 
And so when you only have one thing, you know, one major uh, thing that you 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 offer to the world, you don't. Uh, there's there can be too much manipulation of that one thing to create a havoc. So, all right, this is for Maduro. Okay, we have the judgment card. So he's being judged. That ain't fun. Crossing the Knight of Wands. So this feels to me like the young guy, uh, Guad Guardo, Guado, Guado. <laughs> so he's 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 you know, um, shining the light. He's shining the light. Taking action. Uh, has a belief system. Okay, let's see what's at the root. The Six of Coins. Uh, fairness to the people for money so so it's, it's it comes down to of course the economy people people aren't eating they're eating vermin it's it's heartbreaking and then of course the Americans put the sanctions so that's not going to help the people uh, in the past we have uh, five of cups which is sorrow in the sky strength so he does have some support still. Immediate future, the Page of Swords. Um, mm. I hate to say this, but the first thing I thought is somebody's going to come in and off him. That was my first thought with that. A young man. Not the guy who's running against him. He doesn't have that energy. He has more of this energy. Okay, uh, how it's seen from the outside, a matter of finances, the queen of coins, the people are hungry, domestic situation, the fool, so a whole new, a whole new uh, thing for him. Uh, hopes and fears, the six of cups, nostalgia, he has nostalgia for the past, uh, maybe when Ch Chavez was, uh, was the leader, and let's see um, the outcome. So the outcome is the fountain card. In this in this deck, the fountain card is sort of like the mystery card in the other deck. It has to do with uh, the potential light coming from the darkness. And so it feels to me like this guy's tenure is over and then the light shines beyond that and comes out to recreate Venezuela. All right, let's look do a reading on Guaido. So let me just stick these cards back in. Just another minute. Sticking these cards back in. Okay. okay. I'm going to shuffle them up. So this guy is young. I think he's in his 30s. It's interesting. Um, all these 30-year-olds like sort of coming up into their power. So young. You know, usually it takes longer, but... Um, all right, let's see. Okay. Let's see the immediate environment for him. The Eight of Cups. So this is um, walking away from what doesn't work or what's no longer fulfilling. So I think that's the uh, just the general energy of the country, right? Um, looking for change. And uh, hope. So that what's crossing it is hope. Okay, so he has a hope to change things, you know, but how does, how do you do that? Let's see. Okay, at the bottom we have the Ten of Swords. This is somebody who wants the suffering to end, the suffering to end. At the root of, of, of this for him is he wants to see the people uh, no longer suffer. In the past we have ooh, the Nine of Cups again. This is... Venezuela before when the when all the cups were filled when they were um, a uh, a prosperous nation so he'd like to see that again I'm sure who wouldn't in the sky ah we have the same person who was in the future um, I 
This can also be a spy card. So I think he has to be careful. I think he has to be careful. Be the, okay, so this is what I'm getting. That perhaps Maduro will be taken out by the military, but this guy has to be careful that the military doesn't also take over f from him. So while there can be, uh, you know, the military coming in and, and taking over is, is, is a way for him to take power, will they actually let him take power is the question. Immediate future. Okay, so here we have some dis dissatisfaction. So that may be the case. That may be the case. He doesn't get exactly what, what he was hoping for. Um, how it's seen from the outside. Um, so this is uh, the two of, of wands. But from the outside, uh, as it's upside down, this is about working together to get something done. And this is not doing that. So there can be an issue there with, uh, with the military. Uh, domestic situation. Sadness, okay. That could be his domestic situation. Things didn't work out as he thought. Um, hopes and fears. A new beginning, of course. The Fool card. And the outcome. Okay, so there is divine... Uh, there is... There is... The divine is working. This is healing, temperance, balance, not getting caught up in extremes. So there is... And perhaps... This could also be, because I saw this might be the card that Maduro gets off somehow. He doesn't want to do it that way. He doesn't want it to happen that way. Maybe that's what upsets him. Okay, let's see what's at the at the root here. We have the Eight of Coins, and so this is rebuilding. So there's a sense of rebuilding. So it does look like uh, he will... Um, Things will change, and he will have a, a part in that change. It's not going to be exactly as he had hoped. But he is young, and, and when we're young, we tend to be idealistic. And um, and whenever you're dealing with, you know, like America and Russia and China, um, and you're young and you're idealistic, sometimes that doesn't, uh, you know, bode well for your plans and things. But ultimately, it does look like this card keeps coming up the temperance card. So, um, like I said, I, I do think that things are going to change. And, and although he may not be completely satisfied, uh, with how it happens, I feel, I feel like the results are, uh, you know, good results with that. Um, let me just pick some cards from the middle of the deck. Will he be the person in power at the end of this? The Five of Wands, oh, there's going to be challenges to that. The Moon, hidden things, so there's some hidden things. The Queen of Swords, that's a Justice card. The Nine of Coins, okay, that's two women. I don't know if there's any women involved in this as far as who could take the leadership role and the ace of coins. Um, so I would say he is, he will, um, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be as clean as, as you would, he would like it to be. There's going to be some, some challenges. There's going to be some challenges here. And it looks like a woman, uh, is prominent in this, but it could even just be a woman, judge that makes it a declaration of some kind so that's what i see okay well i hope that helps like and subscribe and if you have any other requests please put them below if i have the opportunity i will do them for you take care bye